So, okay, today I thought we'd talk about, um, well, obviously how to be at least somewhat, not super successful, but a decent YouTuber. So, first start, you want to obviously find out what type of content that you're into making. Things like, um, well, things like your um, content such as, are you making video playthroughs like Let's Plays, or are you making... YouTube videos, just, you know, various vlogs and stuff, or are you making videos more like, um, what I do, just, you know, furry YouTube videos, um, and all the rest, stuff like that. So, let's talk about, um, basically how to get started. So first up, if you're going to get into anything serious in terms of editing, you'll want to get yourself a decent computer. Uh, it can be a laptop or a PC. Um, yeah. So I would say first get yourself a decent ish PC. Um, doesn't have to be anything flash. You know, it could be just a simple, you know, what I started out with, kind of a, just a simple laptop. And get yourself an editing software. Now, I don't use a lot of, you know, fancy editing software. You've obviously probably noticed that by now. But I do try to, you know, put a decent amount of work into editing it. So, next up. Once you've got yourself a decent editing, if you're going to do videos which involve a video camera, you'll want to get a decent one of those. Now, if you're doing more outdoors activities, such as kayaking or anything around water and rough terrain, you'll want to get yourself something like an action camera. Now, I wouldn't recommend... a Will tell you from experience, I would not recommend GoPros as they are very expensive and you just get the same quality of um, performance from from um, cheaper cameras, such as, for instance, a um, Movie Neo Stream, which is what I use for my web camera, which is a lot more cheaper. Um, it only costed me $200 New Zealand, so I would recommend getting one of those if you're planning on getting one for a web camera. And also, if you're looking for a decent, um, simple web cameras, stuff like that, obviously there's actually a bit of a shortage on web cameras around the world because everyone's kind of, you know, stuck at home because of the, well, the recent things going on in the world. Um, probably one of the other things will be you'll want to look at getting some sort of a, so if you're looking at going for, um, yeah, I'd go for something like that or a van top, maybe an option. Another option will be to get a decent, um, possibly look at acquiring a video camera if you're doing stuff kind of like at home or not so much worried about rough terrain or just, you know, getting cameras where I'd go for a Sony Panasonic camera um, camcorder. I'm using it right now. Uh, it's an H3V180. Now it doesn't have any webcam um, usability but it is a really good camera overall. I would recommend using that if you're wanting to get into more serious video. It has a good zoom, it has great overall um, do make sure to get a fairly decent video uh, a SD card for it so that you can use it very well. And yeah, other than that, um, when it comes to equipment, that's about it for the beginning. Also, a decent headset if you're planning on doing streams um, is a good idea. You can get, you know, a a microphone that sits on your bench, you know, your studio mic. That is an option. Um, they, they're about, you know, 30 to $40 for one. Um, I'd recommend if you are getting one, just, you know, make sure to get something decent. Um, I paid 40 something dollars for my headset, so, eh, up to you. You know, use whatever you choose. Um, I'd say if you are just planning on dipping your toes into making, whoa, <laughs> um, making YouTube videos, to essentially just start by, um, yeah, just start getting with some cheap stuff and then progress from there. 
Okay, now things to do and not to do when making YouTube videos. So first up, try to credit anyone if you can find, you know, who you ever made, you know, art and all that. I try to obviously include the names on the art when I use it. So for instance, um, when I make a you know, like a furry memes video, you'll notice that I'll try to make sure that most of the art has a name. Uh, if it doesn't, then I just leave it as I don't know who it belongs to. So, yeah. The first thing you want to do is try and find, you know, so obviously, if you don't know who the content is, just say this doesn't belong to me, I don't know who it belongs to. Second thing, um, if you're making content and obviously your audience is like me doing furry stuff, you'll want to try and um, gear it towards that. Now, obviously I will say what to do when it comes to getting your first videos up is to make an introduction on your channel. I kind of did that, but I kind of didn't at the same time. I should have probably been a little bit more clearer with that one. But obviously I have to say you'll want to get a first video out, you know, introduce your, um, you know, yourself. Um, also try to use a made up name. I don't use legal information on my channel as to who I am because I wish to keep that somewhat anonymous um, and that's the way it mainly is with most YouTubers as I would recommend. Also if you are making um, videos such as mine, um, yeah good luck to that stuff but also if you are looking towards, yeah. so. One thing I have seen with some furry YouTubers, and this is a big problem with some, if your audience is not geared towards political content, don't do it, because it is going to drive away your audience. That is something that I have seen, um, and I unfortunately will have to say this, don't do it, because it just drives your audience away. Um, so, if you do want to get into that sort of stuff, into political stuff, what I would suggest is just setting up a second channel for it. Um, I do have a secondary channel here on YouTube, but I don't really use it that much anyway, so it's not really worthwhile for me to bother, you know, going into it further. Um, more or less, I'd probably recommend, um, if you are planning on getting into content like that, just, you know, Realize that when you do get into political content, it gets to being a pretty nasty, well, gets pretty nasty. So I would recommend just sticking a mile away from it with your channel. I have seen a few people who have done it and, well, they regret doing it because of it. Because their audience, well, let's just put it this way, they don't exist anymore. As much as what they used to because they, well, they just essentially drove everyone away. So, other than that, I would recommend if you are planning on making video um, content, just make sure to remember that, you know, driving people away by essentially, you know, certain types of content, you know, that you're not making this type of content. So that's one thing. Um, also, the other thing is uh, making decent videos, you know. Editing videos, try to obviously, you know, make sure that when you edit them, you do a good job. Um, obviously, I still mess up with that sometimes myself, so don't get, you know, don't beat yourself up too hard over it, you know. If you make a mistake, it happens. You can obviously, you could always just delete the video and then try again. Or leave it up and just, you know, as, you know, and just say, oh, well, I made a mistake and, you know, that's what I made a mistake as and all that. Admit when you make a mistake, try to, you know, fix that mistake if you can. So, another thing that I have seen a few times, it's not a big issue, but sometimes people will try and um, self-promote their channel on someone else's channel. Technically, it's pretty, you know, rude to do. Uh, I've seen it a few times, um, but what I will say is, um, if you really want to promote your channel, 
uh, try and contact the other person to see if they'll be interested in a collab. Um, I have had someone, you know, and do this, but I obviously said to them, you know, I would be more willing for you to come to me and we'll do a collab together instead of, instead of, um, you know, trying to do that sort of stuff, you know, if you want to donate, uh, if you want to obviously make a decent channel, you're going to have to obviously first try and um, encourage an audience to be sticking around. Also, um, decent videos, you know, um, pretty much that. That's basically most of my point is, you know, just if you're making videos on YouTube, try to, just try to keep them, you know, fairly decent. Try to be kind to other creators. Um, unfortunately, I know a lot of YouTubers out there who have unfortunately, you know, done silly things. And, um, and I obviously would not condone many actions of some YouTubers that I have seen. Um, you know, and it's happened a bit in the fandom. And I will recommend that if you know these people, don't get involved with them. Just ignore them. Um, don't pay them any mind. They are not what the fandom is about. It's about being kind to others, enjoying, you know, anthro art and all the rest. All the amazing things that we have in this fandom. So, if you are planning on getting into, you know, making your own content, um, you know, just realise that it's going to take a little while for your channel to get any kind of views. It took me at least a year before I started getting anywhere near half of what I'm getting, um, mainly because I was kind of experimenting with my content. I was getting, you know, trying to figure out where to, what to make, how to make it, and how to edit videos. So you will have a period of time where you will kind of go up and down, you will struggle for a little while, and then eventually you will probably find a comfortable audience, people that will most likely come back and subscribe to you. Um, one thing I will recommend, don't you know, try encouraging people to subscribe because the people that will subscribe are the ones that actually want to just subscribe. They're not the ones that are going to just do it because you said to. Um, that's one of the things I will say is if you are planning on making um, decent videos and stuff, just try to, you know, be nice to the audience, don't ask for anything um, of them, you know, they're there because, you know, you're making content that they like, not the other way around, or something close to that anyways. So, other things, um, can't really think of much else really, just, you know, just be nice to other people. And, yeah, you never know where you can end up and all that. I will recommend that you try and um, just be nice. It's all really what I can say when it comes to that. This just goes back around. But, yeah, just try and get around um, being you know nice to others, ignoring the haters. You know, you will get at some point depending on your content, a certain type of, you know, audiences. Uh, for me, you know, I get, you know, anti furs some pretty crazy people from the internet. And then I'll get some people from probably, you know, you'll just get crazy people from time to time. Um, most of the time it's just because either you know someone that they don't like and they want to obviously have you essentially disappear from the internet, but I'm more... The best way to put it is, I'm just stubborn. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, rest of it is um, mainly just being you. Don't try and pretend to be someone else. Obviously, that's one of the biggest things that I've seen people do is try and be someone they're not. Uh, you've got to try and just be yourself, find your comfort zone, and yeah. But yeah, um, 
trying to think of anything else to help you out. Um, more or less, just be kind to others on YouTube. If you don't like someone, just you know ignore them or block them. You don't have to talk to these people to anyone if you don't want to. Um, obviously, another helpful thing when when uh, making YouTube videos is try and essentially a bit stuck there, but oh well. Um, try and make decent content that will keep your audience always coming back for more. But yeah, I'm stuck. Oof. Oh well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Another piece of advice um, is trying to get decent social media platforms. I would not recommend Twitter. It is garbage. It's just, you know, everyone's attacking everyone at this point on there. Um, and try and find a platform like what I'm using, Anthrodex. I will, I forgot to link it last time below, but I'll try to this time. Anthrodex. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, the basic thing is obviously try and keep, you know, self going and yeah, <laughs> the game just completely cut for some reason, I don't know why. But yeah, I'll worry about that later. But yeah, anyways, um, finishing up, just try and, you know, I'd say using Anthrodex because I'm a furry is a good option. If you're looking for somewhere else, uh, there's probably a few other platforms similar to that that have more based around particular fandoms or things. Uh, also set up Discord, uh, you will want to try and get some degree of moderators. Um, once you've got people that you can trust, people that you know that have been around you for a long time to moderate your Discord if you plan to set one up. I would possibly recommend it if you can handle it. Do recommend that you have a few moderators that are up when you're asleep. So overseas friends, people that you know and trust. Um, yeah. So I'm doing all right. If anyone's wanting to know, I just thought I'd make a secondary video for today. But yeah. Um, basically, that's about it, really. I would say you will want to look up a few other things depending on what you want to do. Um, live streaming, you will obviously want to try and find something like, um, depending on what you're live streaming, if you're just, you know, wanting to chat with your audience for a bit, um, live streaming, web camera, um, you want to use something like Streamlabs, I would recommend either Streamlabs or OBS. Uh, look up how to use them on YouTube, there's all these how-tos on how to use them. Also, get a decent, um... Just get some decent skills with various computing stuff. I have kind of gotten a bit of a decent skill with some of them. And yeah. So other than that, I'll see you guys later and just hit me up in the comment sections. I'm also available on Discord. Follow me on Anthrodex if you want to. And have a good day. I hope to see us around soon. Um, yeah. yeah, if you want to, obviously I do have a Patreon if you want to donate a few dollars. Obviously I'm not making any money on YouTube because I can't get the money from my AdSense account. So, any donation is a big thank you, it does not matter how much or how little. Um, have a good day and see us around.